the desktop icons. Maybe you want to match them with the rest of your custom team like this. Hi, I'm Bar, and in this video of the tweaking series, I'm going to show you how you can change all of the desktop icons with custom icons. First step is to get some icons you like. You can just Google for them. There are a lot of sites that offer icons, and I prefer Icon Archive. Here you can just search for specific icons, like an icon for a laptop. On the left you can add filters, like a color filter, to get more black icons. You can check out this website for yourself. They offer much more than I'm just showing here. Uh, for example, complete sets of matching icons. When you find a nice icon, hover over it and click on Ico. This is the icon format. Then continue finding more icons or go to your downloads. And here it is, but before I use this icon, I'm going to put it in a directory where it's less likely to get moved or deleted. So I've made a custom folder on the C drive called icons and here I paste all the icons. So now we go to step two, we change the icons. This is done differently for different kind of icons. Um, first we start with this PC and recycle bin. To change their icons we need to go to the settings app and go to personalization. Then we go to teams and we choose desktop icon settings. Then you select the icon you want to change and click on change icon. Now you browse the directory you placed all your icons in and choose the icon you want. Click apply and you'll see it changed. Then do the same for the other icons you want to change, like the recycle bin here. I even have a different icon for the recycle bin for when it's empty or when it's full. Now in step 3 we are going to change other icons that are not directly system related. We change them by simply right mouse clicking the icon and choose properties at the bottom of the list. Then go for change icon, browse to your icon directory and choose the icon you want. You can do the same for any other icon on your desktop or any other icon in any folder for that matter. So if you like this video, don't forget to check out my next videos in this series where I'm also going to change the size of the icons and removing both the text and the shortcut overlay.